At Entray, we specialize in converting solid waste into clean electricity, heating, and cooling right where it's needed. Entrade designs, engineers, and operates the world's smallest clean energy heating and cooling power plants on the market. They fit on the back of a pickup truck and run on locally available feedstock. Waste is all over the place. It's actually one of the biggest challenges that's facing humanity right now. From polluting the oceans to massive methane emissions, landfills are just not the way to go. Rather than sending that trash to a landfill, why don't we use that trash to generate electricity? Why not just do it on site so it really helps close the loop on the waste energy stream? Renewable energy is really the future of the Earth and a healthy environment. The U.S. is the biggest waste producer in the world. Entrade is offering the perfect waste solution for the state. So we can go right on site, get rid of your waste, not have to ship it across country and not openly burn it. Rather, we turn it into useful energy heating and cooling. You don't have to take waste from one source, drive it across the state to another place. If you can take the waste and actually process it in the location that you are, that's a tremendous opportunity to make the environment a much cleaner place. We typically start um, our operations with wood waste pellets, and then while operation, we mix in more and more of the regionally available waste. So what we do with that is we dry it down, and then we pelletize it in our own equipment, and then we mix in these two different types of waste streams and run our system 24-7 on it and generate electricity off of it. Through integration of solar and bioenergy, we can provide the right amount of energy around the clock, and that is a fraction of the cost with very low space requirements within weeks instead of years. So the fuel is stored right behind me in a silo. It gets transferred from the silo through a screw conveyor into the hopper. We have automatic valves and sensors that can tell when the hopper is full and empty, so it automatically refills. From our hopper, it'll get transferred to our gasifier through an auger. In there, it'll go through a series of oxidation reduction reactions at around 1100 degrees Celsius. It'll get gasified, and from there, it goes into our heat exchanger. After the heat exchanger, you'll have a combination of gas and ash. Your ash will get taken through the cyclone and deposited into this bin. From there, it'll get mixed with air and run through a combustion in our engine. The engine will power our generator. What we have is a closed loop system that generates energy and heat without all the bad emissions. When you think about um, you know, sub-Saharan Africa, or places where stability in the grid is an issue, this solution will really revolutionize the way that those places can operate and really the people there can live their lives. We are all dealing with issues that are global and often it's very hard to tackle those and I think we've found a great community at the incubator with all these like-minded individuals where we're thinking outside the box, we're going at issues from a very different angle than the typical industry norms are. And with that, I think we're changing industry norms, which is very important.